Hey guys, it's Kambi, and in today's video we're going to be going over how to set up circuits for time spent in room, how to link that up to a leaderboard, and also potentially how to make it so that every hour you get a certain type of reward, whatever you have set up in your room, you can link that to. So we're going to head over to Room 2.0 and show you guys how to set it up. All right. To start off, we'll just go to objects and we'll get the leaderboard projector chip or you can just do a quick search for that. We'll spawn that in. All right, next we'll just do a quick search in the search bar for time and we'll get the unsynced universal seconds. Let's actually change our snapping to grid. There we go. Let's also spawn in a int variable to store what our seconds are and we'll spawn that in there. Um, again, you could change your snapping to surface because now we'll just work on this one uh, plane of the grid. And let's see, if I hover over here, our value, you'll see that it goes up one at a time. Let's link that to our int variable. We'll rename it to be called uh, seconds and make sure that we don't need it to be synced, it'll run for each player, and we'll hit submit. We'll go to create an event receiver, spawn that in over here, All right, and we'll configure that to be on 30 hertz. So there we go. That'll just be a constant run, and it'll be constantly running what the universal seconds are, so then our seconds over here will be increasing. We're going to actually duplicate this event receiver, configure it, and scroll down all the way until you see uh, seconds changed. So this is our seconds variable, and um, our seconds changed event receiver is gonna go off every time this number here changes. So now we have a consistent um, second changed over here and it's only running on the second. Next up we'll want to add a modulo. So let's add a modulo chip. We'll want another int variable. So even though those are the total seconds, <laughs> it's, it's not taking into account the seconds that you're actually in the room. So we'll go change that, configure it, all right, let's rename this to seconds in room. And this will be a cloud variable. And we'll submit that. This way it'll keep track. So when you come back, you'll still know what your seconds in the room are. And over here, every time the seconds changed, we want to add one second. Pretty self-explanatory. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll connect this up and We'll say our seconds in room is the sum of how much we've spent plus one. And there we go, and that'll go off every time the seconds have changed. Okay, so you'll notice this is starting to go up. So these are the seconds that I've spent in the room. But now we wanna convert that into minutes spent in room. So that's where this modulo chip is going to come in handy. We'll take our seconds in the room and we'll take a modulo of 60. So now every time we hit a full minute, the remainder will be zero and we want to calculate what the minutes are. So you guessed it, we're going to add another int variable. There we go. We're gonna call this min minutes in room and make sure that's a cloud variable. And I always forget to hit submit, so don't forget that. We'll want an equals chip, and we're gonna say if the remainder equals zero, then we want to add a minute to our minutes in room. So let's do that right now. And uh, we'll also need another add chip. So same, same idea as the seconds. Um, so let's move that over here, connect this up, uh, so we want, no, we don't want that connected. We want our minutes and rooms plus one. 
every time the seconds in room remainder equals zero. There we go. And it'll check it every second. When it does hit zero, our minutes in room should go from one to two. Let's see if that happens. We'll find out in 15 seconds, but it should work. All right, here we go. So we have 59, 60, and it goes to zero. And now we have two minutes spent in the room. Now, in order to send this information to the leaderboard, we'll want a leaderboard set player stat. There we go. And we'll just put that over there. And we'll link it up and say we want channel one and the value to be the minute spent in room. Now go over here, configure your leaderboard chip, and we only care about the first stat, so the first stat will label as minutes and you can label this whatever you want you can turn off the other stats because we're not going to be working with those and it should be set up all right so here we have our stat and right now it has not yet updated. It does sometimes take a moment, so we'll just wait patiently. So just waited a moment, and now as you can see, our minutes is now at four, and we are at four minutes in the room, and every time we hit a minute, it should set the leaderboard local player stat. It might take a minute to reflect into the leaderboard, but this is just a basic setup. I find it super helpful. You could also say when you hit a certain amount of minutes in room, which you could calculate again using another modulo uh, chip. So let's let's quickly show how to do that, that you would get like some sort of reward. So all you would have to do is again, do the modulo if equals and clone this once more. We'll move it over and we'll say if the minutes spent in the room divided by 60 equals zero so that means every time you hit an hour you would receive some sort of reward and yes you could just link it up like this right now it's false but once my minutes turn into 60 minutes we should be able to grant a reward by just linking up the then chip to whatever reward that you're looking for so there's a lot of functionality in here and it's a pretty simple setup hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to hit uh, support code con b on my profile or just type in con b in the store menu and if you have any other ideas for tutorials let me know and i'll see you in the next one